Once upon a time, in the high mountains, in a tiny house, lived a father and his son. They were very poor, and often they were not able to buy even a slice of bread. One day, when the boy, sad and hungry, was sitting in front of the house, nine ravens flew into the yard. Come to the clearing, said one of them, and then all the birds flew away. At midnight, the young man went to the clearing and saw a richly laid table, a beautiful girl with golden hair. During the feast, she told him her story. Her eight brothers and she were turned into ravens by Irma the witch. Her father, along with his loyal servant, turned into the golden snake and had to live in the woods. They met every night. The food he did not eat, he brought to his father. His father could sell the food and the innkeeper became very angry because he made less money. The envious innkeeper breathed into the clearing and cut the girl's golden braid. The table disappeared. The girl disappeared too. She was turned into a raven and flew away with her brothers far away. The young man got very angry and he hit the innkeeper very hard. Then he took the golden braid and put it in his bag. He sat down and cried bitterly. Suddenly he saw an old king and a golden snake. Follow him and then you will find my daughter and my sons. If you defeat the evil witch, her witchcraft will be over, said the king. The young man followed the golden snake. They were walking nine days and nine nights. After that, they reached the highest mountain peak. Here, we have to wait for the ravens. God, the princess prayed. The golden snake whispered. All of a sudden, the ravens appeared. The smallest one sat on the young man's shoulder. I'm giving you a feather. Thanks to it, you will be able to fly safely way behind the fire river. He gave him the feather and said to him, wave it nine times and then you will be able to fly. The birds flew away and the young man went down the valley. From this place he could see the fiery river. He saw there an apple tree with beautiful juicy apples. He picked one of them, ate it and fell asleep. In the meantime, Irma the witch turned into a toad. She wanted to crawl into the bag where the golden braid was hidden. She got scared at the sight of the snake. She screamed so loud that it awakened the young man. The young man trapped the toad, waved the feather and hovered above the ground. When he was flying above the river, he dropped the toad. And then, bang, everything around was shining. The young man awoke 
in the beautiful palace when the girl, her brothers, her father and his servant were waiting for him. His old father was also there. Shortly after, the king organized the wedding of his daughter and the young men. The celebration had no end. Bye. 